God's will. You hear people say all the time, well, if, if it's God's will, it's bad. Even insurance companies refer to it this way. That is absolutely the reverse of what is true. God's will is always the highest and the best for you. And you allow God's will to be done in your life. Now, it takes faith to let God take over. But when you do, you realize that the best is coming. It is not just the best, it's the highest and the best. You expand your faith. You practice letting go and letting God in every form take care of you and your life. If you ever feel tense and if you ever feel anxious, if you ever feel burdened with pressures and demands, ask God to take over. Ask God for the highest and the best to come and relax in that moment knowing that it is coming. Relax inwardly and outwardly, letting all that stress just melt away. Your faith will assure you that God is in charge of God's world. It says in Romans 12, verse 2, Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that you may prove what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. I pray today that you are able to release feelings of undue personal responsibility, that you're able to allow God to help, that you are allowing God's will to be done, and that you're comfortable and you're at ease in every part of living, in every part of your being, I pray that you ask God this moment to help you, to help you realize the highest and best in life. Your faith will assure you that God has only the highest and the best in store for you and for all those that you love and for all those that you know. The highest and the best for all of God's children.